let me introduce you to our guest chef, Joe Catalano. Well, we're doing something really, really amazing and incredible today. Being born Italian, we love food. So I'm going to make a totally different kind of, of, of hamburger for you guys today. It's called Mama's Meatball Hamburger, and it's stuffed with gorgonzola cheese. And we got a special bun that we're going to use a little later, and it's really pretty much a heart attack on a plate. But this truly is a real man cave munchie. We're going to have a pound and three quarters of hamburger. We're going to have one pound of sausage an amazing amount of spice mixes, but I'm going to keep it real simple and easy for those guys out there who really don't want to cook but want to impress all their friends when it comes down to having a barbecue. We'll start with a pound of Italian sausage. We're going to take the, the casing off and we're just going to put this all in a bowl. We're going to get all the sausage in here. Then we're going to put all the hamburger in here. Very complicated procedure. Very complicated. Take. It's it's almost like brain surgery. So then we take this all out and we put the hamburger in there. That looks like a brain. It was really, <laughs> really difficult, I'm telling you. So you kind of get it all working up a little bit in there. Get the sausage, get the hamburger in there. Very delicate procedure. Very delicate procedure. You know why we use sausage in here too? Because we want it to taste like a meatball. Plus we, we want to use the sausage because it's got a higher fat content. And when you want to master the grill, you want a higher fat content. There's no two ways about it. This is my special spice mix right here. Now what's in here is we have a half a teaspoon of chives, a half a teaspoon of crushed red pepper, uh, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder. That goes right in there. And this is the secret ingredient, ladies and gentlemen. This right here, this is a half a package of onion dip mix. This is old school from the 70s. Put that in there too. Now what that does is it gives you all that onion flavor without having to cut the onion, without having to put the onion in there, without crying, without doing any of all that stuff that the guys don't want to do because it's not very manly. We mix this all up. Notice how I'm kneading it with my fingers. We're not, it's just like, it's like making pizza, pizza dough, guys. If you've never made pizza dough, we'll show you how to make pizza dough on a, on a different episode. But right now, we're making burgers. Where have we been? We did pizza dough. We did pizza dough. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Well, there you go. See? Now, that's it right there. That's all mixed up just like that. We wash our hands, let this sit for a few minutes. All right, guys, we're back downstairs now. We're sitting by the grill. Notice I'm making a meatball. I'm going to make a meatball about the size of a tennis ball. And flatten it out in your hand. A little chop chop like that. We want a real burger. We're men. This is man cave munchies. We want burgers. We don't want we don't want these sliders. Sliders are not allowed in this in this program. We're gonna take we're gonna take some gorgonzola, some crumbled gorgonzola. We're gonna put it right in the middle of the burger. We need a little bit more because because that's what we do here. We need more gorgonzola. We need more gorgonzola. Absolutely. <laughs> now you're gonna see something special because I'm Italian. I can roll a meatball with one hand. Do so not attempt this at home. Do we not, are professionals. We are professionals. So we roll a meatball. Look at that. Almost a perfect meatball. We take that meatball, we put it right on top, and we press just like that. Now what I'm doing right now is I'm going to take all the edges, and I'm going to push all the edges together. It's a meat yes. ravioli. It's a meat ravioli. Absolutely. <laughs> it's what we're doing. So we make sure that the edges are all sealed because we don't want that cheese to come googing out while we're cooking it. And that is a, that is a culinary term, googing. You want to put a little divot in the top of the burger when you're cooking it so it doesn't puff up. You want a flat burger when it's all done. So you want to put a little divot in the middle on both sides of the burger. And we put that on the plate and we're going to make like four more. Then we're going to put them on the grill. All right, there we go. We've got our four burgers that are ready to go. These are heart attacks on a plate, right Joe? Oh, absolutely. Well, we got here are four burgers. We're going to be putting these on the grill in a moment. Um, just want to let you guys know that you can use pretty much any kind of cheese you want. Um, I want to, you would want to stay away from things like blue cheese, obviously, because it's a little too pungent, um, unless you really, really like that. But you could use uh, Stilton, you could use smoked Gouda, you could use Gruyere, Fontina, pretty much anything that's going to be mild, but give you enough of a bite to complement all the fat that's, that's, that's pretty much is in these burgers with the sausage and the hamburger meat. We use the 7326 mixture of, of hamburger meat, and we used uh, regular sweet Italian sausage. You could use hot Italian sausage if you want to spice it up a little bit. Um, but I did put a little bit of crushed red pepper in there, so you don't want to make it too hot. You're not really looking for a jalapeno burger, but you're looking for something with a little bit of bite, a little bit of muscle, a little bit of, of, uh, of happiness. We're going to put these on the grill. We're going to char them up. We're going to put a crust on one side, flip them over, put a crust on the other side. We want to get internal temp to about 135, which is industry standard for medium rare burger. The, the, the big thing that we're going to do is we're using a Krispy Kreme donut as a bun. That's why this is truly a man cave munchie kind of burger. We're going to cut them in half, grill them up, put some grill marks on them, and it totally changes the entire texture of the burger. All right. Take out burgers. Notice there's, there's dimples in each of these burgers, so when they plump up, they, they stay flat. You want them to stay flat. If, they, if you don't have a flat burger, 
what's going to happen is nothing's going to stay on top of them when you put your condiments on. All right, let's load them up. All right, guys, what we're going to do now is we're going to check our burgers to see if they're ready to flip. So we're going to take the cover off. You can't ask for better smoke than that. I'm going to hang that right. No, we're not because I can't find the I can't see thing. the burgers. They're, they're <laughs> there in there they somewhere. Are. There they are. <laughs> Oh, those look perfect. So we're going to notice they're a nice red color. That's because there's sausage in them. Look at that nice grill on the on the, on the, on the back side of them. We're going to flip these over. Going to get them a little closer to the heat here. Now we're just going to cover them back up and we're going to let them go for another 15 minutes and they should be perfect. Those are not hamburger buns. No, these are Krispy Kreme donuts. We're going to use these for hamburger buns today. So we're going to open the box. Hey, there's two missing. Who ate them? <laughs> not me. Oh, see, you can't even bring donuts someplace because people end up eating them. So we're going to use these as our buns. This is like the total kick up notch to unbelievable heights. So we take a donut. Don't use the chocolate cream ones though, right? No, no, no. You use the original Krispy Kremes. You want the sugar on the donut to soak itself back into the, into the bread. So if they even make a nice line for you right here. It's the way they coat them. So you can just take this hey, split them. Okay. and just split them right in half. Do not cut donuts in your hand like this. I'm doing this because we don't have a lot of table space. So we're going to take these. We're going to come over to the grill. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. We're going to take our Krispy Kremes and we're going to put them off the side. Get some indirect heat going in here. We want to caramelize this sugar. And yes, folks, we have been drinking, so I don't know if that's the reason he's using donuts instead of buns, but we're going to find out. We're going to kick it up to notches unknown to mankind with these, I'm telling you right here. So we're going to put the cover back on, let these heat up a little bit, get some grill marks on them. What this does is totally changes the texture of the, of the donut, so it, it hardens the, 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 the dough up just a little bit. So it actually tastes like a real hamburger bun, but it's sweet on top of the sausage. And the gorgonzola, it is going to be an amazing taste combination. So we'll be right back to show you what the finished product looks like. All right, guys, burgers are done. I just uh, took an internal reading. We're at like 140. So we're a, a little more than medium rare, which is always good. So we're going to hang that on the side. I'm going to show you a real easy way to do this. We're going to take a burger, pick it up. We're going to put it on a donut. We're going to take a donut top. We're going to pick it up. And we're going to put it on top of the donut. Now. I've been doing, I've been cooking for 15 years. My fingers have calluses. Do not pick up a hot donut. It's sugar. It's hot. It will burn you. And we're just going to take this whole thing. And and drop it in it the grass. here oh, on okay. the plate, just <laughs> like that. And we're just going to serve all these up just like we just did the first one. Put them on a plate. And you can put anything on these you want, guys. Red onion. Um, Vidalia onion. You can put more cheese on them if you want. We're actually going to put a little more gorgonzola on the top of these. You can use smoked gouda. Because they aren't lethal enough. They aren't lethal <laughs> enough. You can use, you can use smoked gouda. Smoked gouda is really good. Um, it's a little, it's a little tamer than the gorgonzola. All right, guys, we're sitting in here right now. We're going to dress these burgers up for everybody. We're going to get everybody ready. Look at that. We let them sit for about two, three minutes. So when we bite into them, they're not going to. They're not going to get all juicy all over the place. The juice is going to be right where it's supposed to be. A couple of pieces of thick cut, center cut, applewood smoked bacon on top. If anybody wants to put anything else on, you can put anything on you want, like barbecue sauce or ketchup and mustard, some sliced onion, pretty much anything you want can go on these burgers. So right now we're just going to serve them up. I'm going to put one on everybody's dish. All righty, here we go. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait one second there, partner. You got to sign our liability waiver. I'm eating. Well, we don't do it for the studio. Go. All right. Oh, I'll, I'll alert 911. <laughs> Here's good eating. Oh, man. Okay. I need these. <laughs> Thank you. 